It's just so much excitement. I mean, the whole community is here, and teams that we've played like in conference, it just means a lot whenever even they come out. It just shows how much it means to us, especially like being a team that's never been in the Final Four in this state. Like, it's just incredible, and it's such a good feeling, especially in that five-set battle. Yeah. How do you describe that match? Uh, you guys came out, uh, took the first two sets, then kind of looked a little disjointed, and, and then the, the fifth set was just an incredible comeback there. How do you describe just the, the emotional roller coaster of what that match was? It was definitely an emotional roller coaster. In the first two sets, we were feeling so good. Everything was working, and uh, one thing that we need to work on is just finishing, like in some games that happens. I mean, they're a good team. They're going to get sets on us, but it just whenever we battle back, and we especially going to five sets, that's a long game. Like It just shows how much we want it, really. Uh, talk about your night, Sarah. What, what was working for you? How were you able to find some holes in, in their block and put some balls away tonight? Uh, it was pretty difficult, I'm not going to lie. But, yeah, I think that Claire, it's really loud to hear. Claire is good about hearing what we're calling out. And my defense helps me back. And seeing, like, if we have one or two blocks and where the openings are. So the coaches, the defense, that really helps a lot. But, yeah, all of the team, we just had to work together, really. Like, the pin hitters did a great job tonight. Oh, I'm so excited. This is my senior year, and I knew we were not done. <laughs> How do you kind of describe the, that match overall, the emotional roller coaster of getting up, then going down, and then that fifth set being all over the place? How, how do you kind of describe what happened here this afternoon? It was hard, but we knew that we could beat them. We knew that we were the better team, and we just need to come out and play like we were. Uh, talk about your uh, your day all, overall. You know, you were you were kind of all over things in the back row. Uh, they've got some really good uh, hitters on that other side. How were you able to, to counter what they were doing offensively? Um, Believe it or not, that's not the hardest I've seen. Like, I play with my players hitting at me, so I just, it was pretty easy for me to get them up. <laughs> well, what was the benefit of, of playing this match in your in your home gym? I mean, that, you know, that crowd in the fifth set was pretty incredible. Yeah. Uh, you know, how big was that to complete the comeback? Well, they packed the stands and they screamed so loud, and I was like, if they're all here to watch us, we're not done. We're winning this. Going to Cape Girardeau next week for the uh, Final Four. What, what's it going to take to go down there and, and uh, keep this thing going? Um, no quit. No quit, and we need to play like champions. I'm just so overwhelmed. I'm so joyful right now. I We wanted it so bad. Um, I honestly, when it came down to the fifth set, set, I was so nervous, and I was shaking. I, I couldn't watch. I was praying. I was doing everything I could. And when the girls, I was on the bench, and when the girls just fought for every point, it just showed how much we wanted it. And whenever they came out and they just got that lead, and we are right there, 13-14, I just, I couldn't be more proud. And I'm just so overwhelmed right now, so excited. You said you were nervous going into that fifth set, but, you know, you came up with some really big swings in the fifth set. You know, just kind of talk about what your mindset was in that fifth set and how you were able to find some holes on, on their block. Yeah, so now we're never. It could have been our last game. Um, Emily Caudell, she said that it's either we're going to state or this is our last game, so give it all you got. And I, I really took what she said to heart, and I just tried my best to give it all I had. How do you, you know, kind of handle the emotional roller coaster of a, a match like this where you guys jump out 2-0 and then drop the next two sets and then we're back and forth in the fifth set? How do you manage that and, and then come out on top? It's extremely hard. Um, we have a good leader, uh, a lot of good leaders on our team. Um, yeah, we won the first two sets, and I just tried to make everyone realize that you know we could still lose. We have to finish this. We still have at least one more set, and it's really hard to stay calm, especially for me because I'm so emotional. But we all did such a great job staying calm, and we just got our confidence back. And once we were back in, we are back. Uh, the emotions are high. I just. Um Happiness, sadness, I, it's all the emotions mixed together. I don't really know what to think quite yet. How, how do you describe uh, that match? Uh, you, you guys got out early, dropped the next two sets, and then win the, the seesaw battle there in the, the fifth. Uh, you know, what, what's it just say about the, the way the girls that you have and the way they were able to battle all afternoon? Uh, well, our girls, they, they know how to battle through sets. I've, I've said that before, and we've been in situations before where we can battle. Uh, I sure wish that we wouldn't have dropped those two sets in the middle, um, but they they knew how to pull it back and they knew how to bring it under control. They wanted it really bad. Uh, can you put your finger on what, what happened there in sets three and four? I mean, especially that, that second set, you looked really dominant. Things were kind of clicking. What, what changed there and shifted the momentum in this one? So the difference between the second set and the third and fourth was that we were not swinging at the ball. When we're not aggressive, we're not at our best. So whenever we have the ball up in system and we're confident in our swings, 
it's hard to stop us. Uh, then you get to the fifth set, you know, they, they had one of their players who was heating up and then you had Tommy Martin who came through with some really big swings there in the fifth set. Um, you know, just how, you know, how do you take us through that fifth set and how you were able to battle and, and eventually chip away and get the win? Uh, I always preach never give up and no quit, and those girls really played with that mentality. We were able to get Tommy on the outside with some really big swings down the line, finding the openings in their defense, and uh, then we were able to put it away. Well, what's it mean for you and for the program to, to be into the, the Final Four, the, you know, all the work that you've put in, and to finally get down to Cape Girardeau? This is, this is awesome. We've worked all season for this moment. Um, the girls, this has been a goal of theirs, I know, for a long time. Uh, and then just, just battling to get here, it's, it's awesome. Some high-level volleyball down there next week. What's, what's it going to take to go down there and get a couple wins and, and come home with a state title? Uh, looking at doing that, we're going to have to play with a lot of confidence. We're going to have to swing at the ball because I think that when we're up and we're in system and our girls are swinging hard, we're one of the best teams in the state of Missouri. And we're excited to go down to Cape Girardeau and show everybody what we can do.